Hello, hello, my dear Aquariuses. What's good? What's good? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sun Cat Tarot channel. I'm back at it again with another June monthly 2019 love and life reading. Now, with that being said, I do want you to know that this is not a personal reading. This is strictly a general read. And because of that, things might not always be 100%, and that's okay. But in that case, also do be sure to check out your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign for further clarifications, okay? Because some energies can be stronger than others, depending on where the stars and the planets are aligning with your natal chart, and with the full moon, the new moon, and other astrological aspects. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's get into our Aquarius June reading. Hmm, Aquarius. I feel like there's going to be some sort of a relief maybe coming for you, but I could be speaking out of turn. Let's see your overall monthly energies, your overall monthly vibes let's see your theme of the month energy theme of the month energy for my dear Aquarius your theme of the month the wheel of fortune it just flew at me so cycles are ending things are going in the right direction though so do watch out for that a time of luck could be coming to you this june okay you could also be connecting with very fixed energies such as leos tauruses scorpios or another aquarian okay or these could be your energies but if they're so fixed at the same time these energies are finally turning around okay so there's a time of completion and at the same time a time of new beginning there might be a time where you know if you're applying for a certain job you could be getting it if you are dreaming of getting something it could be coming to you okay um, relationships can be exiting out of painful cycles to more healing ones okay so let's see how the wheel of fortune resonates with the rest of the reading okay if you're new here uh, i always keep the overall energy for the whole reading because it will help with the rest of the read now let's see your overall energies between you and the person you're connecting with so is there any messages regarding love that Aquarius needs to hear. Overall messages regarding love that Aquarius need to hear. The Page of Pentacles. Ooh, the Devil. And the Eight of Cups. Oof. Okay, I see. I see. Yep. So the Page of Pentacles shows an immature kind of energy that wants to reach out to you or is thinking of reaching out to you. They're thinking, examining certain things. You see how tightly he's hanging on to that coin and examining it, okay? So somebody, I mean, it could be you, but I see that with the devil card here, you could be connecting with the Capricorn, but there's been a toxic, dark energy here that's been manifesting and might be trying to come back into your life. And you're like, nope, nope not today satan i'm not listening i'm not budging i don't need this emotion that could be one energy or there could be an energy here of realizing something that's very very harsh and you're walking away from it there's definitely i feel like it's a walking away and walking towards something better you're releasing things from your past or even they the other person because these are overall so energies could switch remember that but 
somebody here is releasing the toxic energy so you see this bond that these two individuals have but the devil has them chained with like by the neck okay so you guys could have been coming back to each other coming back to each other even though there were some things that could have been very toxic and maybe now in june there's like a light bulb going on in somebody's brain here where it's like wow i need change there needs to be a deep change here okay so that could be something y'all could be dealing with it's just a type of energy where you're worried about your emotions now and there's so many dark things that might have been happening here that it's like this dark energy it needs to subside okay you see how dark it is here but it's getting a little bit lighter here and it's like you're getting a relief when you're walking away from someone okay so let's see that's overall okay so let's see how you are feeling your energies right your energies your feelings and your thoughts aquarius towards this other person for june 2019 queen of pentacles the fool the sun Mm -hmm. I see you. Yep. You're like, you know what? I've cared about you for so long. You were like that one little star, that one thing in my life that I kept with me. I looked out for. I nurtured and protected you. I've loved you. And at the same time, it's like, you know what? It's hard, but I gotta start over. I gotta look at the bright side. I wanna change things, okay? That's what you're saying. I wanna change the way my life is going with you, okay? That's what you could be saying. Because it's like, there's certain things here that were so painful and so toxic. That's like, dang, I can't no more. Not right now. And sometimes I do feel like you catch yourself looking back at all the things that you've done for this person, all the things you've been through, and it's like, mm, there is a part of you that feels torn in a way, because you want to start anew. You might be feeling like you want to move somewhere new, okay, to a new town. You want to start a new job. You want to start a new cycle in your life, but you might be having a difficult time, but the moment you do start, the moment you get on that horse and go, hey, it can be beautiful. Again, could be connecting with a Leo, just like with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Where you could be connecting with fixed energies such as Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and so on. But there's a sense of here of enlightenment also, like, yeah, like I said, you're realizing, realizing, waking up. It's like that morning time where you're waking up and smelling the coffee and it's like, hmm, is this coffee a bit stale? I don't know. Is this relationship stale? So, yeah. Or you really just want to start new again maybe with this person because the fool is facing towards the Queen of Pentacles. It's like still you can't help but sometimes go back to that energy where you want to like care okay it's hard for you not to care about what happened now i do want to see what happened between the both of you what happened oh that's a little too much i might take this one because it was the first one and the farthest so the three of wands So what happened between my Aquariuses and the person they are connecting with? Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody here was really, really waiting for an opportunity to come to make things better, but they were feeling alone maybe. Or if not alone, left out in the cold because there was major deception here. Somebody might have not been telling you the truth, the whole truth about how they feel, okay? They might have just been like sneaking around, doing things behind your back, even though 
they knew it hurt you, okay? Somebody here could have um, really been waiting for somebody to make the next step, to make a move, but you know, at waiting for somebody to make things more serious, but it's like, nope, we're walking away, we're deceiving, and then we could come back and deceive too. It's like this person walks away, but comes back walks away but comes back and it's like at the same time while they're coming back it's still not like they have great intentions they still are just like playing around you know just like coming in and out of your life okay and it's like is it really worth it is it really worth for my Aquarius to be dealing with that somebody here is just almost like not using you for entertainment but it's like they could see how far they could push your buttons. They want to see where you stand, okay? How firmly you stand in your beliefs and your opinions. And it's like, you know, with the five of pentacles here to the seven of swords, it's just, it's just heavy energies. They've betrayed you many times and you take them back sometimes and take them back. But it's like, at what point do I stand my ground firmly, right? And just not let this happen no more that i stand up for my beliefs that i stand up for my being this person could be also very hurt and could have said a lot of hurtful things because they were hurt but let's see let's see their feelings their energies and their thoughts towards my aquariuses the ace of pentacles the six of swords and the ten of swords hmm it's like they want to start something with you, but at the same time, they're walking away. Like, there is a gift. Like, maybe you've even offered them many gifts. Like, you're nourishing ways. You, you, this coin right here is the Queen of Pentacles, right? She's holding on to this coin and she's like, here, I love you. I love you so much. Like, I'm, like this is you speaking still, but I'll get into their energies. But this is like you saying, look, I'll give you this coin, my prized possessions, the way I feel about you. I I I'll do whatever it takes, right? And then this person, they're feeling like, nope, it's too much of a burden. I can't. And they're kind of walking away. They're facing away from the coin, okay? They're just like, they're facing away from an opportunity from you they are feeling at this point like it's a burden on them okay there's a burden and maybe it's even a burden on their mind because the sword suit is their mind maybe they're like realizing wow i'm not a, being a good person and it's like i can only do so much i i don't know if i could be any more deceitful like it's like it's hard you know so they're in this energy and vibe where they're like you know what i gotta move on and carry my burdens myself and along the way they're picking up burdens you know even though they're like rowing the boat here they're like getting more and more sticks and burdens okay that they're carrying in their mind and i feel like almost like they're they are a broken person and they're doing this because that's all they know how to do maybe they've come from a broken family a family from divorce or a single parent home where they didn't really see true love and they might be following their ancestral patterns, okay? And they they can't seem to break them yet. So they're just like stuck in a cycle, okay? In a rut. But at the same time, they want to move on. And um, I don't know if it's best for you to offer them things, but they're just like, not right now. Not right now. I can't. I have a lot of burdens, even though, but then like, when they feel like their burdens are a little bit eased up, you know, like when they feel like, oh, you know what, it's a little bit eased up, they feel like sometimes they could crawl back into your life, but it's like, I don't know what intentions they have. What is this person's intention? What is this person's intention towards my Aquarius? What is this person's intention towards my Aquarius? Four of Cups. Four of Swords, Five of Cups. Mm -mm. They don't have the best intentions, I don't think. And even if they had good intentions, 
there's something so strongly blocking them in their mind from achieving a happy relationship that they are like in a whirlwind of a storm where do you even want to be a part of this because they are very broken right now and they need healing and meditation and time they they have probably rejected every type of energy look another hand trying to give them i mean this could be you too okay so switch it as it resonates but it's like somebody here is like you know what um they've given you opportunity after opportunity cup after cup after cup and they're still not satisfied it's like nothing can be done for this person to satisfy them okay like somebody's walking around eggshell eggshells somebody here is just blocking out any opportunity they're just in a state of like sleeping they're not awake to the energies and they are stuck in the darkness stuck in these cups like at the same time like they see these cups right they're blocking them but then when they're like taken away here like they're spilled here in the five of cups they focus on it right like it's like I see this I'm sorry but this person is a really really wounded okay this person feels they're struggling they are sad they might you know they might seem like a person that's happy on the outside and bubbly and sometimes they do messed up things but they are a sad person inside they just wear a mask to the whole world okay they are in deep sense of like darkness because when you sleep right like the four of swords here it's darkness right and with these two fours here they really crave stability but at the same time somebody here is like also ruining their shot at stability themselves so i don't know if that makes sense for you or if it's their energy but this is what's happening and this is kind of what's going on and this is how things are being affected okay and yeah there's strong four energy because we do have like four corners of the earth here with the cycle card right the four directions it's like somebody doesn't know what direction they want to go with once again i'm gonna say because it is the middle of the year we are at a big crossroads energy the last six months went by now there's another six months coming by to end the year and it's like people decide do i do i continue with how the year's been and just see what happens or do i have to turn around and do something right okay i hope that made any sense so yeah their feelings and their energies and their thoughts are kind of messed up and that's why they've been a certain way towards you let's see how um your energies aquarius are going to be coming together and aligning kind of like a possible outcome of what could happen let's see a possible outcome of what could happen possible outcome of what could happen to my Aquarius, please and thank you knight of wands ooh ten of pentacles and the chariot so what could happen is is that there is the strong movement you know but it's like as a reader i hold myself back a lot but somebody here is going to be walking away from their ten of pentacles because they feel like they don't deserve it even though they really want to move towards the ten of pentacles y'all could be connecting with the cancer there was a lot of major arcana cards here but this knight of wands is like it's taking action okay somebody here you or they is gonna take action to walk away because this one is facing away from the ten of pentacles this one is not looking really at the ten of pentacles right so it's like somebody is just trying to face forward and trying to not look back here and a possible outcome could be that people are like you know what nope i'm getting in the driver's seat to fix myself i feel like somebody here doesn't feel good enough for you or maybe it's you that doesn't feel good for another person but there is very big like mentalities of wow is this what i deserve in life is this really what i deserve in life can i do better right and it's like of course you can 
you know? It's all about you, what you believe, you know, and how you look at things about your intentions and stuff. So let me see, um, let me see some possible advice for my Aquariuses. Possible advice for my Aquariuses, please and thank you. Ace of Swords, so you're going to have to develop a new way of thinking this month, okay? strategize maybe cut some people off if you have to that are not bringing you your good vibrations okay because if you stay in low vibrations if you let people talk to you a certain way say certain things to you and you don't do nothing about it words have such strong power that it's unbelievable words carry huge vibrations and people don't realize that that's why, like me as a person, I block certain negative comments. I don't want people to look at negative things in the comments or whatever, you know? Like, maybe you're focusing on certain things, but at the same time, the advice here is you're going to see clarity. It's like a divine hand will give you clarity and truth about this situation, okay? And the star, look, this is your own card here, Aquarius energy. You still have hope, but I feel like you're almost cutting out hope like you're almost losing hope in a way and don't do that that's awful you, you can never lose hope okay and then the judgment card so yeah yeah you will be judging the situation i feel like you should judge the situation and there will be a big wake up call you see this angel just like loudly waking up people pretty much from death okay to wake up to a certain situation that's going on okay and don't lose hope the big thing is never lose hope and never let anybody take your shine never let anybody um speak words of ill intent to you because the cycle needs to move on and i feel like there was a big darkness here a big almost like a tower moment for y'all where it's like mm, Y'all need healing. Okay, see water. Um, maybe you guys could work with water, even though I know you guys are an air element. This water here in the Aquarius card, you could speak good high vibrations into water and drink it and stuff. And you could manifest good things, okay? That could be an advice for some. Now let's see some messages from Spirit here for my Aquariuses. What do Aquariuses need to know here this month? What do Aquariuses need to know this month? What do my Aquariuses need to know this month? Okay, we've got emotions, emotional breakthrough, blessings, intention, and ancient knowledge. So yeah, there. like I said, there will be a waking up, like the darkness is going to be enlightened, okay? You need to focus on your intentions and if you are trying to bring your blessings or if you're trying to bring bad things, like, you know, bad things to your life, you need to realize how words, how thoughts can affect you, okay? And it's hard. But let's read. Intention. Do not lose sight of your original intention. Check inside your heart to see the path that you're traveling. Okay, there is a journey here. Okay, an emotional breakthrough, blessings, a journey, emotions. Okay, um, check to see inside your heart if the path you're traveling fits in with your original hopes and aspirations. Okay, never lose your hopes. Remember, I told you you could be losing hope. Never lose your hope. If not, if they don't match to your original aspirations and hopes, take action, take control, take the driver's seat, like that chariot card, okay? And steer your life back on course. Let's see emotions and emotional breakthrough together, kind of, because they both have like a moon and then like a rising, like, like after the darkness comes the dawn, you know? So emotions, you are awash with unexpressed emotion say exactly what you feel yeah you need to stand in your truth okay say exactly what you feel it is safe for you to speak your truth 
So with that, there will be an emotional breakthrough. And the emotional breakthrough says emotional transformation, release, freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationships deepen as a result, okay? So know your intentions, speak your truth, speak the words that really matter. Then we got ancient knowledge where it says there's a flame inside your heart. Remember, there's so many things about your heart here. I feel like you know in your heart what to do. You need to check your heart, okay? And there's a flame inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ancient love and ancient knowledge are being rekindled, okay? So when I was talking about ancestry and stuff like that, um, there could be a certain ancestral cycle that could be driving you and stuff. But, I mean, it might be a lesson that your whole family needs to learn, like your whole generation, your whole, um, your, just your ancestors overall keep learning and learning and learning, maybe reincarnating or whatever you believe, you know, to learn a certain lesson, a familial lesson. So ancient love and ancient knowledge is being rekindled. Close your eyes and connect with what you feel and the loving wisdom okay the ace of swords is very important here because it represents wisdom thoughts talking communications feeling okay so close your eyes connect with and feel the loving wisdom that you hold let it flow out from your heart to transform your life okay blessings blessings you're going to be showered with light your creativity or blessings you're being showered with light your creativity is being stirred, activated, and set alight. An endless stream of rainbow color stems from your heart. I am not kidding you. Your heart knows the truth, so follow your heart, Aquarius. Follow your heart. The journey here, okay, you see, after darkness, after storms, comes the rainbow, comes the beautiful part, okay? You're flying, you're on journey here, guided by your feelings, guided by your heart, okay? Things are definitely here on your side too. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of luck, a card where it shows that things are on your side, okay? So be aware of that. And then one last thing I wanna do is get a couple words of wisdom from my fortune cookies, okay? Oh, and another card here that fell out that I didn't even notice fell out. The nature card, it was on the floor. It says, you will give birth to something new, something beautiful. Okay, an idea manifests the beginning of a new and wondrous journey is here. Blessings. Okay, I'm not kidding you. Blessings blessings i mean new journey the fool is on a journey this is why he is the first and the last card okay so yeah without that let's read your words of wisdom i got sidetracked here share your happiness with others okay if you don't let other people get you down pretty much you know the glass is half full that's right it's not spilled it's not poured. it's half full baby have a clear sense of your priorities, okay? Remember, your intentions, what you really want, how life is really going for you. Look at heart. There's hearts everywhere. So make sure you have your priorities over anybody else's. You need to speak your truth. You need to know more about yourself. You're like the snake right here, transforming and shedding its skin and moving on, moving on, moving on, okay? Go for a long walk to clear your mind. Like I said, with the fool here on the journey, I feel like I said at the beginning of the video, it would help you to be in nature, okay? Go to a park or just sit at a park. Plant your feet in the ground on the grass for a little bit, you know? Breathe in that fresh air. Don't always stay cooped up inside. I know you want to get your money's worth when you're paying rent, you know? But once in a while, go for a walk to clear your mind and always do your best and i know my aquariuses always do their best they're always out and about trying to heal they're very 
wise sign, okay? So yeah, I feel like your life is unfolding to the divine will of your soul. So I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for such a long reading, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you in your mid-month reading. Love you. Bye.